Hello and thank you for taking the time to let me speak to you on behalf of the American Islamic Forum for Democracy, or AIFD. Much attention has been paid, and rightfully so, to the barbarity of the group ISIS, or ISIL, or simply IS, Islamic State. ISIS has declared itself the new caliphate led by its sheikh Baghdadi, the Islamic State of what it feels to be ruled by their version of Islamic law, Sharia law. The Muslim communities across the world have for the most part condemned the actions and methods of ISIS outright. Gruesome images and accounts of mass murders, beheadings of AIDS workers, child sex slavery, and more have made it very easy for any human being, Muslim or non-Muslim, to condemn this group. What is less common, however, and what is really needed, is Muslim condemnation of the group's stated aim, the establishment of the Islamic State, and not just IS, any Islamic State. Despite the fact that Muslims in the West, especially in the United States, enjoy freedom of religion, expression, many still idealize the idea of an Islamic State somehow ruled by a further idealized version of Sharia law. We at AIFD believe that in order to protect universal human rights, especially freedom of conscience and equality between all men and women, there must be a clear separation between mosque and state. We further believe that the only way to secure religious liberty is for governments to favor no religion over another. Governments must allow citizens the freedom to choose their religion or none at all. It is this truth that makes it necessary for us to reject the notion of the Islamic State or any Islamic State entirely. We believe that religions become entwined with governance. It is impossible to avoid the, the domination of one interpretation of religious law over another. Compulsion in matters of religion becomes unavoidable. Tyranny, censorship, and violations of fundamental human rights inevitably ensue. In order to be and remain individuals who respect and protect human rights and who can be productive members of pluralistic societies, Muslims must abandon even a romanticized vision of a future Islamic state, rejecting the notion that there is in some way to implement Sharia that would be anything other than oppressive to women, to minorities, and to people of their faiths and none. It should not be a surprise that the 56 OIC Organization of Islamic Cooperation Countries would not sign the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, but would only sign the Supremacist Cairo Declaration of Human Rights in 1991. We must realize that even a theoretical fantasy of an ideal Islamic State holds us back, and that it absolutely holds back the most vulnerable amongst us. It's not a surprise or a coincidence that what the Islamic State is doing in Iraq and Syria is similar to the beheadings done by the Islamic State in Saudi Arabia, the Islamic Republic of Iran and its abuse of women and minorities, or the Islamic Republic of Pakistan, on and on. So instead of reminiscing about the notion of a golden age that was once was, or dreaming of an ideal that can never be, we must focus on and do the heavy lifting of reform within our faith tradition so that we can, in partnership with our non-Muslim allies, protect, preserve, and advance universal human rights and individual freedom for all through the separation of mosque and state. We must take sides within the House of Islam against the theocrats and against all those who believe in the Islamic State because that is the only pathway to freedom and liberty. We invite both our Muslim brothers and sisters and our non-Muslim allies to join us in this mission. Please visit our website at aifdemocracy.org to learn more about our work and subscribe to our email list and please connect with us on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. Thank you.